We are back in another episode of Explore Tallahassee. Hi everyone, I am Ellie Rosario, and as you can see, I am ready to take you into a new journey today. We are going to go biking, so we are ready to tackle on these trails, so come along with me. My journey with biking in Tallahassee started in 2012, when I began looking into doing my first triathlon. I started riding at the San Marks Trail, off Capitol Circle, I felt like it was the best way for me to start since I didn't know much about the rules nor how to navigate the roads with cars. My favorite route is getting lost on the canopy roads on Mikasuki Road. I truly enjoy the hills, the challenge, and the serenity it brings me. I take my kids to the Lafayette Heritage Park and they absolutely love it. Hey, I'm here with my friend Brady, who is the owner of Bird Legs. Uh, here in town and I want to ask you some questions about cycling. Um, I know most people just want to get a bike and go out there and start running but what do you think about safety things that they need to be doing off-road and on-road? Whether you're on-road or off-road I would say the most important thing is a helmet. A lot of times it's overlooked and you'll see the kid riding and the parent not riding. It's just as important for both sides of the family I feel like to have a helmet on. I keep seeing those three feet stickers on people's cars. What exactly do they mean? So the three feet sticker, it's actually a, a nationwide law, I believe. I know it's statewide here in Florida, but it means that if you're passing a, a cyclist or really any pedestrian on the road, you need to give them three feet from the widest part of your car, so your car mirror, to the nearest part of the rider. So the rider's shoulder, or if they have a bike or a trailer, the trailer as well that they're pulling a child or somebody else in. As cyclists, what our goal is, is our goal is most time to try and stay as far to the right as we possibly can in it with it still being safe. As a driver, what we should be looking out for is more than anything, making sure that there's enough space that you can get around the cyclist. And if you consider that a lane is normally about 10 feet wide, maybe 12, you have to move across the yellow line to actually get around that cyclist. We talked about on the road, what about off road? Again, same as if you were driving, you need to stay on the right side. So especially on a trail like the one that we're on right now, it's wide enough where you can stay to the right side or the left side. So this is a, a multi-use path essentially. Now on single track trails as a cyclist, it is your responsibility to yield to pedestrians. So any walkers or horses, you actually need to yield to those. I love how you mentioned horses with the walkers. Do we have any either Facebook groups or websites or organizations here in town where people can get information, how to get started or, or be involved? Yeah, certainly. So website wise, we have Bike Tallahassee, which has a, mostly your information on um, road safety. And then if you also ride on the streets, they have a lot of the local safe routes to get whether you're riding to and from work or you just want to get out for a fun ride. Okay. We also have Trailahassee, which has the list of all of the local trails that we have around us. And here in Tallahassee, we actually have nearly 90 miles of mountain bike trail. So if you wanna go on road, mm -hmm. off road, add a little bit of water into it, you got it all. Right. All right, cool. As you can see, I've changed locations and I am now at Cascade Park, which has over two miles worth of paved trails but now, I want to take you into what I call the missing link of our community, our pedestrian bridge, which connects FAMU Way to the Cascade Park. Let's go. Tallahassee is definitely a bike-friendly community with a variety of bike lanes and other features, like bike boxes and bike racks. You can even find a bicycle repair station on FAMU Way. With almost endless trails and a variety of cycling resources, Tallahassee is a bike lover's dream. For more information about bicycling in Tallahassee, visit biketallahassee.com. All right, guys, I've shown you some trails. I've shown you some park and road options. You have no excuses. Come out and explore Tallahassee with me.